What's up, everybody? Welcome back here to another Rise of Kingdoms content. What is Hannibal Barca good at? Today in this topic, we're going to review Hannibal Barca. <laughs> So for those who are new to the channel, I'm Shinchi42, and um, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I hope you guys would consider subscribing and helping out this channel to grow. Um, we're creating a lot of content for Rise of Kingdom, so if you're looking that type of content, this is the channel that you want to subscribe. So I appreciate it if you guys would consider subscribing, and um, let's get on to the topic here today. Hannibal Barca is a commander that we have spent through the VIP chest. And I believe it's about close to about $350 or something like that uh, to max out Hannibal Barca. So this is definitely a, a spender commander. You can only unlock Hannibal Barca by purchasing on the VIP special privilege in here. So as you can see, Hannibal Barca is right here. So Hannibal Barca, if you see somebody who's using Hannibal Barca, you mean that they have really spent money into the game because they need to first work onto their VIP and then also buy the special privilege chest. But is Hannibal Barca worth it? Is Hannibal Barca good? What can we use Hannibal Barca for? Actually, there is a lot of use for Hannibal Barca. And especially in the early stages of the game, there are valuable um, combinations to use with Hannibal Barca. First, let's go ahead and take a look into my stats before I talk stuff about Hannibal Barca. For Hannibal Barca, I have 3.369 million kills. And for Barbarians, I have 42.499 million kills. Okay. So as you can see with this is that we've definitely used Hannibal Barca and I've had Hannibal Barca since the March 10th of 2019. So it's been a while, right? Um, it's actually a two years now since I have Hannibal Barca. Now, Hannibal Barca is a wonderful commander, uh, but, you know, it's a spender commander. It's really good commander to have in the beginning and have it maxed out. He would dominate in the beginning, but in the later stages of the game, you will find much better commanders in the future. But it's nonetheless, he was worth it for the time that I had him and um, some players still use Hannibal Barca. I personally do not, but let's go ahead and talk about some of the uses and some of the combinations that Hannibal Barca can do for you. First things first that we need to understand with Hannibal Barca's skill is that he would damage the target for a 400 damage factor. So this is one attack, then deals an additional damage to up to three targets, okay? So we'll have a fan shape area, and then it will hit them with damage factor of 300. And then also, which is really nice about Hannibal Barca, he is not just only a DPS commander, but he is also going to decrease their damage and defense for five seconds. Five seconds is massive. Barca is like an all-around commander. He is a leadership commander. He can attack you. He can support as a debuffer. Works wonder. Now, now, second skill of Hannibal Barca, consisting of different type of units, all right? So I'm going to explain to you here how you can hack this as well. I'll show you in a little bit in here if you tune in. So the third skill, this is only going to take effect for Hannibal Barca when he is attacking enemy city, all right? 10% chance to heal slightly wounded um, at the 1,000 damage factor, which is really nice when you're attacking and raiding a city, especially in the early days when there is a big war. Um... Troop led by this commander, gain 10% increased troop capacity, expedition skill, fort skill in here. Really nice having the bigger capacity. You can really dominate, especially in the beginning. Um, when Hannibal Barca is outside the Alliance territory, using skill increases all damage dealt by 15%. So Hannibal Barca is that commander that you want to be fighting outside the Alliance territory. So if you're inside the Alliance territory, you're not really getting that bonus of 15% skill increase, all right? Now for the expertise of Hannibal Barca, it's, uh, I think we've already talked about that in the War Elephant. So this is the expertise uh, setup, all right? Now, what can I do with Hannibal Barca? What type of combinations can I do? Personally, what I have done before is a Hannibal Barca YSG. Um, in the beginning, when I didn't really have a lot of troops, I have mixed type of troops, so I would do a Hannibal Barca and YSG. So this thing, as you can see, um, would really benefit you having YSG because additionally, when Hannibal Barca is in battle outside of the Alliance territory, using a skill increases all damage dealt by 
15 percent so all damage dealt it is also going to you know your damage your skill damage as well since this is an all type of damage so that's also going to buff up ysg in here with this reign of arrow so that's one thing i like with hannibal barca um he is ferocious he's really good and um the debuff is one thing right so as you have debuffed you lower the defense and you pair that up with ysg Oof, the damage is insane right Another thing that you can do is a solid debuffer is that you can do a, a Hannibal Barca and Aethel Fled. So with this, you'll have a, another debuffing mechanism in here. Now, the thing in here is that you are not going to be able to stack up the, the buff in here, okay? So one thing that you can do or one thing you will see is that it's going to cancel it out. But you can do a continuous debuff. So as you have Hannibal Barca... You will be debuffing their damage by 25% and defense, all right? So with Aethel Fled, it's only defense that is going to really hinder um, the debuff of Hannibal Barca because the first skill of Barca in here, it says this is damage, all right? So that's not attack. So this is reducing the attack, but this one is reducing the damage. So damage, by from my understanding, is that whenever you are hit... Right? This is when you absorb the damage with calculation of all the defense already. And I and with the attack, this will be a raw form of damage coming out of the commander. So you're going to be able to reduce that as well. So one thing that I want to explain to you here with Hannibal Barca and Aetha Flight combination, because this has been suggested by other uh, pl people as well. Um, you actually are losing one turn value. So if you take a look into here, once you cast... You will have um, defense in here and um, damage, right? So that's Hannibal Barca's uh, turn. But then when you actually go into turn 13, it's still in effect. Turn 14, it's still in effect, but Aether Fled taken over the defense. Turn 14, Aether Fled once again, still the same. And then turn 15, um, it's still the same. But then on turn 16, you still have the all damage, but you don't have the defense anymore. So you're losing uh the buff or the debuff of um Hannibal Barca but is it relevant I mean it's one turn only but it's still big right 25% is pretty big buff so I would say it's not really a bad type of combo it's just you lose one turn now another combination that you can do is a Richard and Hannibal Barca this is going to be a very tanky march and you'll have um you know marching speed and um you'll have healing and another damage reduction in here plus marching speed reduction and you also have um bonus for infantry um also damage you know taking reduction counterattack damage bonus it's really tanky setup um but another issue for that as well for like uh, richard is going to be the same situation with hannibal barca in Aethel fled so in here you can see that um all damage is minus 25 percent in defense right minus 25 percent and then still the same and then this time richard is going to cast richard takes over the all damage this time now it's minus 30 right the defense is still going to carry over because um, it's a five turn situation so as you can see right and then turn 16 we do not have the all damage anymore so you do lose a few turns in there with having richard as the secondary because he would take over the buff and it would cancel it out so if a short buff like with richard i think it's only um with richard it is a two second buff so you lose pretty good significant amount of uh debuffing so to the topic of what is commander barca good at commander barca is very good at bringing a lot of troops in the battlefield and um being an attacker conquering cities because when you attack cities you're going to get that healing factor you revive your slightly wounded but this can also be a detrimental because if you heal too much then you'll have a lot of losses eventually so keep in mind in that as well um hannibal barca is not a commander for defense so do not use uh, commander hannibal barca for defense he would be a great open field battle type of thing um you know there's a bunch of different combinations that you can do you can even do a guan yu you can do anything with hannibal barca you can pair it up with anybody that you want so if you're working with um with the epic commanders you can pair it up with zun too you can even do it um scipio and the only thing in here you have to tweak the troop type and we've talked about the troop type earlier right 
Um, so some of the kind of like people's mindset is that, oh, um, I am only going to put one troop type and, um, you know, I'll put one unit and I will, ju I will just have all the buff in here for like the entire game. Actually, we did a little bit of a testing and you're going to be surprised and actually maybe not surprised because it's pretty practical. Now, with the new system update with this um, new battle report system, I like it because we're able to see big differences of the breakdown of skills. So first thing that we did earlier, we talked about the uh, Hannibal Barca and Eto Fled. This one, I actually only put one in one. All right. And same thing with this one as well with Hannibal Barca and Richard one in one. I did that to accommodate for the skill of Hannibal Barca to give us some bonus. Now, what did I realize by doing that? Um, and I've made this mistake before, honestly, but actually, no, I never did this before. Before, I would just max out my troops because I don't have a lot of troops. But maybe some other people have made this mistake. And if you're one of them, don't be shy. Let us know if you're one of them. What I would realize is that in the beginning, in the first turn, as you can see, we have all damage plus 13%, right? And in the second turn, um, I still have that all damage. And you know why? Because my other two units are still alive. But then when I go to turn three, it's gone. I only have 2.5% and it's going to continue with that. So as you can see here in turn five, the reason why I got 22.5%, that's because of Eight of Fled Chandra's Force turned in effect in here, um, triggered because of that 10% chance. And let's X that out. Going to turn six. Turn six, it's still Eight of Fled. Turn seven and then turn eight, it's gone. Turn nine, again, it triggered but the Hannibal Barca part is gone. Now, we can simplify this by looking at um, Richard in here. First turn, 13%. Second turn, 15.5% because there was some buff that was activated. But then as you see, as the troop die in the first two turn, uh, you will see now it's only 2.5%. So what do we uh, conduct with this experiment, right? With this experiment we did this time, I put 1,000 each, so in this time, in every turn, they would then survive. Now, by looking at this, first turn, again, 13%, second turn, 15%, we have some buff that activated, but still, the 13% is still there. Um, the 13%, by the way, is with also the talent tree. It's in the leadership pet, arm to teat. Um, as you can see, turn three, this is uh, Eighth of Fled also casting the Thunderous Force. So you can still see we're maintaining that 13% in it. So if I go find, you know, just some random ones in here, you can still see 15%. It's because this time we were able to actually maintain the Hannibal Barca skill. So what happens? So if I look into my troop, as you can see, I still have my cavalry. I still have my archer. And of course, the majority of the troop types are infantry. So when we only put one, when they die, you can't trick the system, right? You're not hacking the system that way. You're hacking the system by adding a little bit more, right? You want to have it a little bit more just so it can sustain until the end of the battle. So maybe if you're doing a full march, um, maybe you would want to add like maybe 10K each so that can survive until the end of the battle. But once you see your troops, so you have to pay attention into the graphics. And I know sometimes we'll get into like the simplified graphics, but if you can pay attention to the troops, once you not, once you stop seeing your cavalry or your archer or whatever, maybe it's your infantry, whatever the, the lowest troop types that you add just to accommodate for the skill. Once you start seeing low counts of those, or maybe if they're gone, then you're not maximizing that Hannibal Barca skills anymore. So that's pretty awesome. You guys have learned something really great here. I don't know if you guys knew about it already, but if not, well, here it is. Guys, if you want to see more of my contents here, educational videos for Rise of Kingdoms, more fun contents as well, um, you know, I want to invite you to support our channel. Some of you guys have been watching the channel, I know. I can see the statistics. Some of you guys just come in, watch, and haven't really subscribed yet. I hope you guys can take the action to subscribe and support the channel and continue to grow here on YouTube. I appreciate it. If you guys do subscribe, it means a lot to me. So hopefully you guys would consider clicking that subscribe button. Anyway, rockers, 
Thank you for watching. I will see you again next time. If you have any comments or suggestion for like future videos, leave it down in the comment section below. I'll see you again.